So if social mood is quite positive, people tend to perceive the world as certain and predictable. Now, they're just as bad at forecasting social change as they are every other time. Economists are still horrendous at forecasting recessions and forecasting ma major negative changes. Objectively speaking, the world is no less certain or uncertain at that time, but society perceives it as being certain, perceives it as being predictable because society's imbued with the confidence of the positive social mood. Whereas when mood is quite negative, when social mood is depressed, society can become overwhelmed with feelings of uncertainty. And that's without having a pandemic to deal with. You throw that into the mix and suddenly, oh my gosh, there's this just, uh, just such a salient psychological anchor to plug all or to sort of uh, foist those feelings of uncertainty onto. And that can be powerful. You know, these negative mood trends are marked by feelings of a loss of confidence, of a loss of predictability, a loss of routine. And in some sense, that's because that's what negative mood trends are all about. They're all about dramatic social changes, dramatic renegotiations, reformulations of the social status quo. And so you do have a time where the society is in flux, social institutions are in flux, our norms are in flux. Think about, just even today, think about how our lives are versus how they would have been a year ago. I mean, my gosh, I can't go see my favorite football team play in their stadium. You know, you know just all sorts of day-to-day -day, uh, changes are coming. You know, we've got the holiday season coming up. What's that going to be? So all of these norms and rules and values and institutions tend to undergo some pretty significant changes during these negative mood periods. And my gosh, just, just throw a spoonful of, I guess it's not sugar, but whatever the opposite of that is over the top of that with, with a pandemic, something that is you know, genuinely a scary and frightening and all that stuff. And my gosh, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough to, to get a feeling of certainty because our world is, was so in flux and, and, and to some degree remains so. And but that certainty, at least now, seems to be having positive effects on the stock market and general optimism. We're seeing this rise in the market, people reinvesting, seeing opportunity. But just before you, you got what you said, what do you predict the next negative social mood, that big spike down, will affect? Like, what do you guys believe will happen and how we should prepare for it? Wow, that's a huge question and also an important question. So mm -hmm. yeah, let's think that through. So we just talked about how these changes in negative social mood lead to basically a fracturing of the status quo. And so the simplest way to answer that question is think of any field, it could be in the political space, could be in the business space, could be popular culture, to be in the philosophical space, think about, just think about whatever the status quo is in any of those fields in terms of the kinds of things that would be considered mainstream, okay? And then just imagine that consensus fracturing and ideas and actors that used to be on the fringes of the discourse suddenly begin to attract more adherence. So in politics, this would be people Wherever, they're, wherever they land in the, in the political space, just more extreme than whatever the status quo is, suddenly begin uh, attracting more followers. Same thing in pop culture. You can have artists who have toiled away in obscurity for years and suddenly they, they find themselves with an audience. So just whatever field you're interested in, just imagine that status quo fracturing. And what happens is that groups then tend to reform toward the extremes in all sorts of directions. And as that negative mood trend reaches an extreme, a new consensus forms somewhere. And we don't know where it's going to be ahead of time. All we can tell you is that there's going to be severe competition and wherever it lands, it's probably going to be farther away from the center than wherever the status quo was before. Then as positive mood takes hold, you can imagine that new normal migrating slowly 
closer toward the center. So that's the big picture. Now, how do you prepare for something like that? Well, one way you prepare for it is you understand a few things. Uh, one thing you understand is that negative mood trends in involve by definition severe declines in the stock market. So if you're someone who has a livelihood tied to that, or you've got a nest egg tied to that, you wanna be very mindful about that possibility. But even if that's not you, it's not a, it doesn't mean you should just ignore it because of course, these negative mood trends, as we've talked about, manifest throughout the economy. So you could have recessions, you could have all sorts of tough times in the economy, job losses, higher unemployment, but there are also opportunities that come around in negative social mood trends. And so if you're someone who's prepared for that ahead of time and you understand the sorts of opportunities that come to the fore when social mood turns negative, if you've actually made preparation for that ahead of time, you're going to put yourself in, a, in, such, a, in such an important position because your competitors probably will not have done that, will not have done it as effectively as you if you've really thought it through. So how you prepare for that change in negative mood is really, really hinges on your industry, it hinges on your business, it hinges on your, your station in life. We've talked about a few specific industries. Uh, but if you just understand that you're going to be dealing with an environment of social fear, social anxiety, social pessimism, uh, you know, social depression even. And if you think about the kinds of messages, the kinds of products, the kinds of services that people in that mindset would be more inclined to desire, then you can begin to put some, uh, you know, put some plans together to either offer something that would meet that definition, or at least to, to get out of the way so you don't get trampled by this negative social mood. And sometimes just getting out of the way and staying safe can be super valuable.